thought tonight I would bring you guys in the bathroom with me. So no, we're not gonna be actually using the bathroom. We're going to be removing my makeup. So I thought we'd do this together. I think you guys might be a little bit crooked. I have you strapped onto our towel rack. So hopefully you don't fall, so hang tight. I am going to be removing all of my makeup off. So this is everything I have on right now. It needs to all come off because we don't sleep in our makeup. That's very important. So I thought I'd show you guys my nighttime skincare routine kind of different something different that we can do together so the first thing i'm going to do is actually remove my makeup off so right now i am using the kiehl's midnight recovery botanical cleansing oil i use basically anything to remove my makeup i have this i also have the clinique take the day off this is the cleansing balm so i use this as well sometimes it just depends on whichever one i pick up this one's almost completely out so i'm kind of hoping to throw it into the empties very soon so we're just going to use this one so i'm going to kind of roll my sleeves up a little bit here and put a little bit on my hand and it's very liquidy so then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just rub this all around it smells absolutely amazing it smells very very good it smells almost very botanical i guess so it's definitely true for what it says on the bottle it smells very botanical like you're at a big botanical garden so this is super slippery too so it's going to help to remove that first layer of makeup off i like to use my ring finger when i'm removing makeup off around my eyes just because i want to be as gentle as i possibly can with my eyes because hello i am 40 so i don't want to age my skin any faster than it's already going to age so I'm just going to remove this this way here. This doesn't leave a like filmy texture into your eyes either. I know some makeup removers that I've used before can make your eyes feel a little bit milky and then it, you feel like you have a hard time seeing after you remove your makeup. This does not do that whatsoever. So here is the first step. I'm all looking gorgeous. You guys know. Don't hate me because I'm so pretty. I'm just kidding guys. This is not pretty. So here we go, let's move this off. And the first thing, I'm, no, not the first thing, but I'm gonna bend down here quick. I'm gonna grab one of my little handy dandy makeup towels. Hopefully it says makeup on there where I was trying to show you. So I like to use these black like little washcloths because first of all, they're black. So any of the makeup that's going to come off, it's going to come off onto this black towel. It's not going to stain my white washcloths or anything like that. This is, who cares, it's, it's a dark color. So I like to remove my makeup off on these because for two reasons one because it doesn't stain my towels two because it's not going to ruin the environment i'm not throwing anything away this is going to be washed right after i've used it so it's going to be a little bit more environmentally friendly so i like that so i'm just removing this all off and i'm not tugging a whole lot around my eyes so this is gone 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 so now this one is going to be thrown to the side because I'm going to wash this one. I want to use another one to dry my face off and everything like that after I've cleansed it because I don't want to cleanse my skin using anything that's um, dirty. So I forgot to charge my Pharrell, so my Pharrell is actually dead. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the Rock Daily Resurfacing Discs. Typically I use my Pharrell because I like this a little bit more than these, but these are actually really good as well. So if you're in a pinch, you can use these. So I'm going to use these to cleanse my skin because they do suds up pretty good. So it's going to clean your skin very well. So let's grab one of these out. I typically have these cut in half. I didn't cut them in half either. I'm like failing at life today. So now I'm just going to massage this over my skin. I'm not going to rub really hard or anything. You don't want to damage your skin. You just want to clean it. So I typically grab another cloth. Let me grab one quick. Grab a cloth here. And this one says makeup as well. So I'm gonna grab one and kind of hold it under my hand so I don't get this stuff all over my clothing because I like to do my my skin ritual before I shower, but that way there my face is clean and I don't forget to take my makeup off at that point because sometimes after you get out of the out of the shower, you're so relaxed, you're like, I'm just going to bed. So that's me anyway. So I'm going to just continue to clean up my skin. Clean, clean, clean. I do have a couple acne breakouts right now going on, which are awesome. So just finish cleaning my skin off. And you'll see that there was still makeup on my skin, even though we did already use an oil. So it's almost like a 
multi-step on cleansing your skin because you want to make sure you get all that makeup off even down your neck if you take your makeup down your neck so definitely clean your neck as well so it's still dirty it's nice and dirty so i'm going to toss that into the trash and now i'm going to turn the water on and i'm going to splash some water on my face i wish i could show you guys this part but i'm afraid to move you because you're going to fall and then you're going to get a boo-boo so hang on a second okay so all washed and i'm just going to tap dry you don't want to tug on your skin so you just want to like tap tap it dry that's why i wanted a clean towel that way there i could use this one to make sure my skin is nice and dry without putting that oil back on my skin that makes more sense to me anyway i mean hey you go for two towels a night but that's okay because i do laundry every day anyway i am a laundry fanatic on um, not really but with as many kids as, um, we don't have that many kids, okay, look, we have two. But with two boys, we end up having quite a bit of laundry, so here we go. Now my skin looks pretty clean, right? It's kind of clean. So the next thing I'm going to do is, before I start doing skincare, I'm going to wash my hands. I've already washed them once, but now I'm going to make sure that I don't have any cleansers on them because I'm going to be removing my contacts. Right now I am wearing color contacts by Iris Beauty. They sent me these contacts and I really like them. They're really cool because they're color and it's not super obvious that I'm wearing color contacts, but it's obvious enough, I think. I still have makeup under my eye. Look, this is why I am not that good of a beauty YouTuber. Look, nobody ever said I was like the best one. I just try, right? <laughs> so anyway, all right, now I'm going to be removing my contacts. I will not force you to watch that part. I'm actually going to rubber here and make sure that I got that part off. Okay, ready? I'm going to bend down and remove my contact so you don't have to see the part. I will show you the difference though. So there's the difference between the eyes with here I still have a contact in and this one is the contact out. So you guys have to let me know. What do you think? Do you think it makes a big difference or do you think it like there's no difference at all? I really like the contacts in, honestly. I think they're so pretty, the color contacts, and they're very comfortable. I've worn these for two weeks straight so far. Not straight, obviously, you take them out. But I've worn them every day for two weeks and I've had no issues whatsoever. I tried color contacts a long time ago. I'm using my, we're getting a little, using my stuff to put my contacts in my case with. But I tried contacts a long time ago and they were really hard to wear because I felt like I had a hard time seeing. I couldn't see very clearly. So these I've had no issues whatsoever with. So right now I could see you guys really well with one eye, but the other eye you're a little bit blurry. So let me take the other one out. Okay, so the last one is removed. So we have two contacts up now. Now you guys are going to be super blurry for me until I put my glasses on. So no worries. We'll get them on eventually. <laughs> so there are the color contacts and the solution. So I will leave them set overnight. That way there tomorrow morning I can pop them back in and they'll be nice and fresh. So now I'm going to move on to my other skincare. So you guys are probably hearing lots of noises behind you. It's the medicine cabinet where I keep all of my skincare. So I'm going to be using this tonight. I am not going to be using my Luna or my Differin Gel. I do alternate between those three just because it is good skincare, but I don't want to use all in combination because it's going to be too harsh on my skin. So tonight I am using the Tarte Knockout Tingle Exfoliate. I, mine has an issue and Tarte never got back to me. I have an issue with the, mine has like crystals or something in it. It's really weird. So I'm going to, actually I need to tone my skin first. Guys, why don't you tell me? So we need to tone first. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to tone my skin. I can't even see to grab my toner. So I'm going to grab the Mario Badescu. This is the glycolic acid toner. So this one is fine to use in combination with the Tarte. At least I find that it's fine. Of course, I'm not a skincare expert. So if it doesn't work for you, I do apologize. So you might not want to follow my instructions to the T. So now I'm just going to tone my skin. Basically, this is just going to neutralize everything back the way it should be after using cleansers and everything on your skin. So you don't have to tone your skin. I've heard that this is something that they used to do. Like a lot of people used to use witch hazel and stuff to tone their skin. So I like to just use whatever I have. And right now I have the Mario Badescu. So that's what we're going to use. My skin is clean. So that is good to go. 
I'm gonna grab another Shiseido. These are the Shiseido facial cotton squares. I love these. So I'm gonna grab that and use my, I think we're almost empty guys, uh oh. You guys, I think we just ran out. We're completely, nope, nope, it's out. <laughs> we're out, so I'm out of that. So I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's got like little crystals on mine. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's little crystals in mine. So what I've been doing is flipping it over and using the other side just because it kind of scares me to use those little crystals. This definitely does tingle onto your skin. So if you're someone, your skin is very sensitive and you're like, I don't want that tingling sensation, don't try this because it definitely leaves a tingling sensation. I put it on my son's skin one night and he did not like it whatsoever. So everybody's different. It does smell a little bit like vinegar. That's the one downfall to it because I'm not huge on smelling like vinegar on my face, but that's okay. We'll get through it. So I'm just kind of putting this all over. I keep it away from my eyes because, I mean, I think it tells you to keep it away from your eyes as well. So you don't want to put that around your eyes. So that is done. So that part's done. So now I'm just going to fan dry for a second. Fan, fan, fan. Fan, fan, fan. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my, ooh, definitely tingling. I'm going to go in with my Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. This is not a lotion. Don't let it lie to you. It's definitely very liquidy, so what I do with it is I put it into the palm of my hand, I put some, and then I kind of do the Macaulay Culkin. Ah! No, I just kind of tap it in as best as I can like this, and then we're gonna go in with a little tool here. I'll show you guys, it's a pretty cool tool. So we're gonna go in with this little tool here. This is by Michael Todd. So I like to kick and spray it, so I'm going to, I sprayed it off with the <clears throat> alcohol and then that is dried so or you could just take an alcohol wipe and wipe it off as well but this is going to go directly onto my skin and this is just going to press the product into your skin nice and well you can hear it vibrating hopefully so it's just going to push the product into your skin you can do it in any way shape or form you want to do honestly you should be going in upward motions but I mean, honestly, when you're tired at night time, the best part, I mean, the best thing you can do for your skin is just getting the makeup off and making sure your skin is clean. I'm not super good about making sure I go in the right direction every time. So this is just basically pushing it in. It feels really good too. Like if you have sinus issues, like keeping it right here, like on the sinus spot, oh my gosh, that feels really nice. Same with the uh, Foreo. When I have a really bad like sinus headache, I like to take my Foreo and kind of leave it in that sinus area. And it really does help for some reason. I don't know why. So now my serum is all sunk in. So that's good to go. <clears throat> Whatever this touches, it will vibrate. So if you lay it down, it's going to just lay there and vibrate. So make sure you're not laying it on top of anything. I think this is called the Sonic Eraser Pro. Basically, you're just putting your skincare on with it. I think that's what you're supposed to do with it, to be honest with you. I didn't read all the instructions. I saw it and I'm like, hmm, he put skincare with it. So don't follow my instructions again. All right, now we're going to, the next thing I'm gonna do is do my, I can't see now guys, my vitamin C serum. So we're gonna use the Mad Hippie vitamin C serum. My friend Mary uses this all the time. So I was like, you know what? I wanna try this. This is actually pretty good. It's helped clear up mostly on the side of my skin. This side is a lot better than it used to be. It used to be really, really bad. So. It's looking a lot better than it used to. I probably use too much vitamin C serum. That's all right. I probably go a little overboard on all my serums, to be honest with you. Just because I am a huge skincare junkie. I like to make sure my skincare is on and good to go. I do take my vitamin C serum down my neck a little bit. Anything I have left, I like to put on my hands because your hands can use that vitamin C serum too. It does clear up dark spots and things like that. And my hands do have some signs of early aging and things like that on them. So figured why not start now. So I'm just going to, again, do the same thing and push my skincare into my skin. This has already been wiped off earlier with the alcohol wipe, so I don't have to do it again. Try not to drag, but it feels like this is already sunk in. The vitamin C serum sinks in it very quickly. So that one is done. <clears throat> now we're moving on to, we have a lot of product, products, guys. Now I'm gonna move on to my eye cream. So for eye cream, I'm gonna be using my Clinique All About Eyes Reduces Circles Puffs. And it comes in this little cute little pink jar. So we're gonna use that. I'm just gonna take a little dab on my ring finger. Just gonna take some here. And I'm, I always like to start it here on both eyes. And then I'll go back in and pat it. 
pat, pat, pat. And you can use both ring fingers so you can double duty. So I like to, I don't know if this is an orbital cream. I've always used it as an orbital cream. I didn't see anything on it saying that it wasn't an orbital cream, which orbital just means that you can take it all the way around your eye. I do it, I do it every time I've used it and I've never had an issue. So it is a pretty thick cream, so you don't want to go overboard on it. You don't want to go overboard on your eye cream, period, because you can get those little melia bumps under your eyes, and they're really hard to get rid of. So, And that basically is just where skincare has kind of blocked your ducts and things, and it's just really hard to clear up. So that is on. <clears throat> now we're going to move on to... Whew, now we're going to move on to my wrinkle cream. This is the Murad Age Reform Rapid Collagen Infusion. This basically gives your skin a boost of hydration because collagen basically is putting some oh, putting some hydration back into your skin. So we're going to pump some of this out. Got a couple pumps here. My battery looks like it's going to die, so we might have to change your battery quick. Or we need to hurry. Let's just hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So put that on. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Roll that in. <laughs> All right. It's good because I don't want you guys to die. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is my Belief. This is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is super moisturizing. If you have dry skin, this is absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it. So this is my last step for skincare. So if you guys do happen to cut off while I'm doing this, I do bid you bid you farewell for the night, so I will be taking a shower and going to bed because I thought I would just share my skincare with you guys. thought it might be kind of fun to do a little bit of skincare with you guys together. I don't know. You guys might be like, no, girl. I don't like skincare. So now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to rub this in a little bit. I'm going to take it down my neck. Actually, you should take it up your neck. You want to go against gravity. So you go against the gravity. So I like to do it like this, and then we're going to make sure that it's nice and securely stuck into my skin. So we're just going to do the same thing. You can take it up your neck as well. Do this all over. Mmm. It gets a little warm too, so that's nice as well. It gets a little warm on your skin, which feels nice. And this basically, in my opinion, just helps the serums and your skincare sink into your skin so much better. Than using your fingers because I feel like you lose a lot of it when you're using your fingers it kind of sinks into your skin itself and this way here it's not sinking more into your skin it's sinking back or into your fingers it's sinking more into your facial skin which I've noticed my skin is look is feeling a lot more hydrated since I started using this don't follow my rule on how I'm using this I'm just using it however to get the skincare rubbed in so I just like to make sure it's all nice and pushed into my skin push it in so that is it for skincare for the night, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's skincare video. If you guys would like to see a morning routine, let me know because I can definitely do that as well. I need to grab my glasses so I can see a little bit because I can't see nothing. So here, now I can, I can see you guys again, hello. So anyway, let me know if you'd like to see a morning skincare routine because I can do that as well for sure. So just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also, if you have any recommendations for nighttime skincare, let me know because I'm always looking for more skincare things that I could use. My medicine cabinet is a little overflowing, but that's okay because it means that I've got a lot of skincare to choose from, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.